We see these celebrities on TV or recognize them on the radio, but you probably didn't know that many of them almost became professional footballers. From bashing young cooks to bullying MMA opponents, here are 10 celebrities who were almost footballers. Number 1. Pope John Paul II The deceased former Pope was a talented goalkeeper back in his native Poland, playing for his local team in Wadowice. He was also a supporter of the Polish club Krakowia and the Spanish club Barcelona. But Hitler shattered his dreams when he attacked Poland in 1939. From there on, he dedicated his life to the Catholic Church. But the Pope named his printer Bob Marley because it's always jamming. Number 2. Bob Marley Speaking of Marley, it's believed that he used to smoke 18 joints a day, but this is not the only lesser known fact about him. By many accounts, the Jamaican was a well-rounded footballer before he began his battle with melanoma. Both in his passing and scoring goals, Marley was said to have been a very decent player. A player that was both serious and yet very easy going on the pitch. Marley took part in a match at the private field of Brazilian musician Chico Buarque, a match made up of two squads that included the host, Jacob Miller of reggae band Inner Circle, former Brazilian international footballer Caju, and of course, Bob Marley himself along with other musicians and record label staff. That's some dope stuff. At least he's not throwing food in the garbage can. Number 3. Gordon Ramsay Ramsay has made a great living out of screaming at chefs until his voice is almost gone and the one at the receiving end is close to receiving a heart attack. But if you ever imagine how he would react in high-pressure football games, the celebrity chef was monitored by Rangers as a youth and played a couple of non-league matches as a trialist, but a knee injury ended further hopes of being signed by Rangers. So, young chefs, next time you get a face full of Ramsay spit, you know which Scottish club is to blame. But he's not the only one to be almost signing for Rangers. Number 4. Andy Murray the Wimbledon champion almost came close to joining Rangers in his youth, but after a trial with the club, he decided to dedicate his life to tennis. Andy said, So we went and did a training session in front of some of the Rangers scouts and people working at the Rangers School of Excellence. After the training session, my parents got asked if I'd like to go along, and I said to them, Tennis is what motivates me, winning the best competitions. Well, it appears that Murray made the right call, becoming one of the most successful British tennis players of all time. Number 5. Antonio Banderas This highly acclaimed actor, the Expendables guy has it all. The looks, the charm, creativity and comedy. Star of innumerable Hollywood movies, Banderas is one of Andalusia's most famous and proudest exports. But we might never have seen him on screen had he not torn his feet at the age of 14. Yes, you heard it right. Antonio entertained every Spanish boy's dream of making it big in the world of football. Banderas was the star player on his school team until his hopes were dashed by an ankle injury at the age of 14. You see, sometimes injuries are good, otherwise we would never have been able to see masterpieces like Spy Kids and Desperado. Number 6. Conor McGregor Love him or loathe him, the Irishman has made even the casual observer care about the mega money fights. Well, Connor isn't afraid of anyone except maybe Khabib. But long before he hit the big time in the UFC, McGregor kept himself busy, as many young Irish lads do, by playing amateur football. In his native Dublin, McGregor regularly turned out for Sleeverman United and Yellowstone Celtic in the United Churches League and Leinster Football League respectively. From the beginning, he was a raw talent and could have mirrored Pepe or Joey Barton, especially in terms of red cards. But with a reported net worth of over $200 million, it's difficult to argue the Irishman made the correct decision to ditch the football. Number 7. Matt Smith aka Doctor Who Doctor Who, Damon Targaryen and Prince Philip. How many more times would Matt Smith impress us with his stunning performances? But it could have been all so different for the 30-year-old if he hadn't picked up a back injury at the age of 16. He was captain of his school's football team, was scouted by the then Premier League side Leicester City and played for Fox's youth team as well as Northampton Town and Nottingham Forest. It was very tough though, I remember crying because that was all I'd ever invested in. I hadn't really considered acting. It's safe to say that it's a blessing in disguise that he got that injury because there might have been another player like him, but there could never be another Matt Smith, the actor. Number 8. Ian Botham 
Those of you who follow cricket would have heard of Sir Ian Botham, and for those of you who don't, he was England's finest cricketing all-rounder. But maybe no one knows the fact that Botham had also tried his luck at football. The legendary English all-rounder was such a talent, he managed to start seven matches for Scunthorpe United between 1979 and 1984, a time when he was also hitting all comers out of the ground for both Somerset and England. Botham, the centre-half, ended up making 11 appearances for Scunthorpe and also turned out for Yeovil Town. Number 9. Boris Becker He's a magician, anything he touches turns to gold. Speaking of which, he trained Novak Djokovic from 2013 to 2016. And in that time period, Becker contributed to Djokovic's 6 Grand Slam titles and 14 Masters 1000 titles. Novak also won Roland Garros under his tenure, a title that even Becker couldn't pull off himself. Both of them share another aspect, their love for football. Football has been in Becker's blood since he played the game to what he describes as a good level before committing his teenage sporting ambitions to tennis, but his fascination with sport has barely dimmed throughout his career. Number 10. Rod Stewart There aren't many, if any, bigger Celtic fans out there than Rod Stewart, who was seen crying after his club beat Barcelona on that famous night. He was captain of a school football side and the veteran singer almost made it as a pro player after going for a trial with Brentford in the summer of 1960, but he was never given a return call. No worries though, as he once revealed that playing football saved him from drugs and drink. OK, OK, that's more than enough info on footballers who turn celebs, or whatever you want to call them. Let us know in the comments what you think about these stars.